Hello, my name is Kevin Rowland. I'm here with Dr. George Cartwright. He's a former law enforcement officer. He's a published author on the FBI website and also a criminal justice uh, teacher as well. Um, Mr. Cartwright, I just, or Dr. Cartwright, I want to ask you a couple questions about workplace and community violence. And, uh, you know, uh, I'll kind of step aside here and just ask you a couple of things. Uh, what do you believe are the major contributors to the increase in the theft in our neighborhoods and violence in our communities? Well, I think there are obviously a lot of factors, but I have seen an increase myself over the years. And I think a lot of it has to do specifically lately with, in California, for example, the realignment in the prisons, the AB 109. Uh, we're letting uh, more, more people out. We're, causing, we're, we're overlooking a lot more serious crimes because we need the bed space in prison, so we're saving it for the, only the most violent of the violent. So we really are raising our minimum standards as a society. For example, uh, uh, we are not doing a lot with, with uh, uh, drug possession for, for use. Uh, we are, we're treating it as a citable offense for the most part. Mm -hmm. And that is really raising the minimum standards for what we, we, we require in society. Uh, and what that means is we overlook more and more crime. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're, we're enforcing a lot less than we used to sends a message to the criminal, I think, that they can get away with a lot more. So in turn, that, that puts more people out on the streets a lot sooner? And oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, we have more, uh, more criminals walking around. Absolutely. All right. um, um, how do you think we can combat this type of problem and, uh, you know, with the continued budget cuts? Because that's driving a lot of this. Um, and, you know, officer reductions in law enforcement agencies and such? Absolutely. Do have that problem because we can't just continue to hire more cops. We just don't have the funding for that. Uh, cities don't have that. Counties, states we just don't have the money. So we're going to have to get creative. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where a lot to look at a lot more uh, non-sworn options, such as security, mm -hmm. using security. Uh, police departments started using community service officers pretty heavily um, um, 20, 25 years ago when I started in the business. Uh, we're trying to take the, the, the more of the uh, the cold calls, the, the non-emergency calls, and, and, and allow somebody to handle them. But if we could uh, train security forces to at least to be on scene to uh, as first responders uh, with limited training, and I understand that, mm -hmm. but it, it, it could uh, take a little bit of the burden off the police officers. Of course, that would require uh, some training. Right. But, but I think we need to look in that area more. Mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, a less expensive option, uh, right? And, and, it, uh, and it will really alleviate a lot of the, um, the burden that is placed on law enforcement. Yeah, you're familiar with the on-site violence prevention program and how we're kind of utilizing that with some uh, students and graduates, kind of moving towards law enforcement. You see that as a good viable option for the neighborhoods, bike patrols, and yes. such. Yes, I, I think it's great for the neighborhoods. Um, there's more presence of an authority uh, because a lot of times people see uniform and they don't know if it's security or police or a non-sworn police officer or, or non-sworn police member personnel. Uh, so it is good to have that presence. It's good for that, for the community. It's also good for the uh, security guard. Uh, look at I'm teaching criminology. You know, I look at this as a pathway. I see this as an opportunity to get experience mm -hmm. and, and we'll make better police officers down the road that have a little more experience going into the job. Great, great. Well, thank you very much today for your time and uh, uh, any other words in closing you'd like to mention to the folks? Well, I, I, I would just say that uh, I think the, the on-site is just an excellent idea. It's, uh, it's a, it's a, I think it's an idea whose time has come. We need to be creative, and I think this is a great answer to that. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Dr. Carr. Thank you. Thank you.